All right, sup nerds, in this question, it's asking us to consider a microprocessor that can support a memory consisting of 2 to 22 memory words, where each memory is 16 bit wide, and it says determine the size of the address bus and the data bus of this processor, and then it also wants us to determine the size of memory in bytes. Okay, so there's a few things you need to know prior to doing this question, or else you won't be able to actually do the question. So one byte equals 8 bits, that's going to be our conversion, and then K for the kilobyte, it's 1, a kilobyte equals this number, that's how many uh, bytes are in a kilobyte. So then, the definition here of word, he actually gives you um, the size, 16 bit wide, but if they didn't, well it says words, if it just said word, then we'd know it's a 16-bit quantity. But yeah, anyways, that's just something to know. And then um, an address bus is a set of conductor wires that carry address signals. And then a data bus is a set of conductors that carry the data to be accessed. And on the side here, just a little diagram to show you like address goes, or address goes only one way into the memory system and a data bus goes both ways. And then... Um, a microprocessor is just a CPU package in a single integrated circuit. Um, okay, so now we have this. So they gave us in the question 2 to the 22. That's going to be key to solving this question. So what does this mean? So 2, I wrote that wrong, 2 to the 22. So 2 to the n, anything, that that's going to be our address bus size in bits. So we already solved the first part where it says... Um, determine the size of the address bus. So now that the address bus is going to be 22 bits. Okay, so that's the first part. Now it wants the data bus size. Well, the data bus size is just going to be the size that he gave us in the question, which was 16 bit wide. So that's going to be the size of the data bus. It's that simple. And then the memory size is going to be the amount of I'm supposed to say 16, not 6. Alright, 16 bits. And then the memory size is going to be the size of, if they gave you the question, the 2 to the 22 times the data bus. And then they want it in bytes, so you're going to have to divide by that 8, which is this, what we said earlier our conversion factor so then you just divide by 8 for the 16 bits you don't you don't divide this by 8 only the first part or only the the second part this right here so then that that this is our answer and then you could put this in your calculator and say okay well this is 2 to the 12 because I know that 2 to the 10 is going to equal that this here equals 2 to the 10 so this is going to equal 1024, which is equal to 1 kilobyte. So then I can write this as 2 to the 12 times 2, and then my equals, I don't know what this equals, you do, you do, I don't care to do it, x kilobytes. That's what that would equal. You don't have to do this part, um, this is an acceptable answer. And it provides more information about the memory size. So yeah, that's your answer.